So it's daily troubling images and videos of people other than essential service workers traveling across different states in, in the country in clear violation of the state travel ban. Joining us, our guest is Dr. Bakia Yesufu, a public health physician. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Again. All right. What's your take? I mean, the ban is to help us fight COVID-19, but we're seeing more people moving around, which is also spreading the coronavirus. Yes, thank you. Um, basically, in, we, the initial um, issue was that we needed to reduce people from moving around. That was why there was a lockdown in the first place. And um, unfortunately, we haven't been seeing the effect of our ease of lockdown. Um, the plan is to ensure that people have stability, both in their businesses and in actually getting sure that they do not get infected with this um, um, disease. But as it is right now, it's obvious that um, it's not working. And um, the Lagos State government has tried a lot to put things in place to ensure that people keep up with these rules and make sure they are safe. But um, I think um, the way it's going now, we have to start looking at other measures to ensure that the um, disease is And that's what most control. people are wondering. What are the other measures? Should we have security agencies strictly enforce it? They say they are doing that, but, you know, we're seeing that it's not working. Should we have the presidential task force go again, reviewing their guideline for, for the ease of lockdown restriction? Well, basically, um, what I think will work for us is if we have this enforcement being supervised all over again. Um, us going back to our pre-lockdown times might total, not, lockdown. total lockdown might not be um, effective right now because we need to start looking at how to live with this disease and you know make sure that we are back into our daily um, activities so um, they need to actually be strict with the enforcement and be sure that the enforcement agencies are being looked upon too so. I want to quickly ask you about our testing. Um, we're almost looking at testing 50,000 people so far. I know we're still using the most reliable test uh, method, testing method, but are we testing fast enough? Well, basically, the um, Honorable Commissioner for Health in his um, remarks some time ago spoke about us you know, resourcing for our reagents outside what we have been doing, and in that manner we'll be able to get more test kits available to us so with the test kits being available being resourced locally there's going to be a very very drastic change in the rate at which we test right and how now. soon would we see that um it's ongoing right now it's ongoing so we hope that in the nearest weeks we should be able to have completed those um things concerning reagents and right. tests. We'd like to appreciate your time. Dr. Bakkiai uh, Yesufu, public health physician, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me.